Hey everyone, Kim here with the Happy Crocheters. Today I wanted to share my top five amigurumi tools that I enjoy using, some I just found out about, and I'm gonna save my um, last one that's gonna be my favorite one, and it's been a lifesaver. Haley and I both love it. We each have our own set because it's been a lifesaver for all of our amigurumi making tools. So my first one is the stitch markers. So I like the locking stitch markers. I have some plastic ones and I have these little um, metal ones or I'm not sure exactly what they're made of, but they're a little bit tougher to get apart. I don't use these too often. Usually I use this type for marking eyes if I need to. As I'm going around, I'll put these in those stitches, but I like that they lock so they don't fall out. And these are the ones that I use the most. So I use this to mark my stitch and I have a ton of tips that I've learned on what you can do with stitch markers. So these aren't just great for amigurumi, but I also like to put them in my working stitch so that if my animals get a hold of my yarn and start ripping it, it doesn't go anywhere because this does not go through your stitch. So this has been a life-saving thing for so many things, but since we're talking about amigurumi, these are my top stitch markers for using those. The second one is how I mark my, put my amigurumis together. So a lot of people use the pins. So I'll take one out so you can see them. They're just regular um, like sewing pins. So those are nice. However, I like them for these smaller pieces. So to put the ears on, um, things like this. But for attaching like the body to um, my amigurumis, um, yeah, he's obviously turned a little bit. But for these, I like to use, okay, you can laugh at me if you want. I didn't even know what these were until I got them in um, just a kit that I got but knitting stitch markers. I have found that these are awesome for pinning my amigurumi pieces together because the pins don't always hold it together and I find that the head is always falling off and um, you know just the different pieces. So these I'm able to put in the um, into the head and into the body to hold it together really well so they don't come apart while I'm trying to stitch them together. And I love that it comes in so many different sizes. So when I'm doing different size amigurumi, so I don't knit. So this is, may be a little funny, but I do love these knitting stitch markers for my amigurumi to hold the pieces together while I'm sewing. Number three is my neck lights. I love the neck lights, especially when working with black yarn or any dark colored yarn. If you do any kind of um, knitting, crocheting, you know how difficult these dark yarns are to see stitches. So um, I do love my neck light and it is adjustable. It's bendable so I can put it anywhere. And the nice thing is, is they have, I can change each one. They have different settings, different brightnesses. So I love this and I can just aim it right where I need it. And it is rechargeable. So I can just plug it in, no batteries needed. So nice. I love this. It's been a lifesaver. My fourth favorite tool is, I just learned about this actually. I saw it on another channel, uh, La Petite Saint Crochet. Love her channel. She does a lot of amigurumi stuff. And I never knew about this tool. So I have been doing safety eyes for all my amigurumi. I don't do too much of the crocheted eyes, which I'm learning because I found a whole bunch of cool little tips on how to do some neat looking eyes so you can change it up. But the safety eyes. Okay especially when I'm using these small six millimeter ones. It doesn't really matter what size really, but these plastic pieces, sorry about that. These plastic pieces you have to get on here. And I saw her get this tool. This is amazing. I love it. Your fingers can like hurt and trying to get around there. And if you're trying to shove through a bunch of material, like through the yarn and it's just really tough and you don't have much space. This is amazing. All you do is you take the end, you place it on the plastic that secures your um, plastic thing onto your safety eye and you literally just push it on. 
and there it is. It's on there. So easy. Save your little fingers. I love it. Amazing. And my fifth and favorite tool, all our amigurumi. Haley has a set. I have a set. I love them. And I'm going to give you a few tips on how I use it. So I've got this case. I've got this hook. It's got a row and stitch counter here. It's all electronic. It is button push. So the display is off right now. But if I hit one of these buttons, then you can see that it does count your stitches and your rows when you press the button. So I use this all the time. Uh, if you hold it down, it will go down one. You have to let it off. Otherwise, if you um, hold it down, it will reset. So love it. Um, this does come with a whole set of millimeters. So I believe this goes, this specific one is a two millimeter up to a uh, 6.5 millimeter. It comes with this little um, wrench here. So you can easily just twist the hook off of here. So easy. You can just switch the hooks to whatever you need and it's perfect. So it also has a light. So I don't use this too much because I have my um, headlights, but this does, my headlights, my neck lights. And this does come in two settings. So you have the bright setting and then just a little bit lighter setting. And they are the steel hooks. So these are not the plastic ones. I did have a set of the plastic ones. It didn't have the counter. Um, honestly was not a fan. I did not like that set, but it does come with a cord so you can recharge your um, hook. I've had this for quite a while and I actually haven't had to plug it in. So battery lasts for a very long time. It also comes with another hook that you can actually put um, your hooks on as well, but it does not have a counter on it. So my tips for using the stitch and row counter. So I do not sit there and press the button every time I make a stitch. I feel like that would drive me crazy. I'm not gonna sit there every time and click the button. However, when I do have rows that I have to do 100 stitches around an amigurumi toy, I will click the button for every 10 that I do because I don't know if you guys are like me, but the animals disrupt you, family members disrupt you, maybe someone knocks on the door. You never know what kind of interruptions. Maybe you get a phone call. You have no idea what interruptions are going to come. So I like to click the stitch marker every 10 stitches. So, or you can pick any number you want. I just do that because then I know that for every number that's on here, that's 10 stitches. So when I get to five, I know I have 50 stitches already done. And so when I come back, I don't have to count every stitch from my stitch marker. So that is one way that I use the stitch counter. The other tip that I have for using the stitch counter is when you have a row and you have to repeat like um, five stitches, then an increase six times. I will hit the stitch time, the stitch counter every time I do that repeat so that I know when I've hit six, I know I'm done. So I don't have to constantly like count in my head and be like, okay, well there is five and an increase in it. Yeah, it takes all of that out of it because I hate marking down how many times I've done it. So that is my other tip uh, for using the stitch counterpart of my hook. So I do use the rows for the rows. I love it, especially with amigurumi. It's amazing. So these are my top five um, tools that I like to use for amigurumi. This is my absolute favorite and I am not affiliated with any of these products. I just love to share the things that work for us and Haley loves hers. She's got it in teal and we could not do without these. So let me know what you think. Let me know if you guys have some tools that you enjoy using that are your top picks. I would love to try them out. Maybe I have them and they just weren't on my top five list. Um, I would love to hear what you use. So please comment below and, and give me those feedback. And um, if you guys have used any of these tools, please give me your thoughts on them as well. And I hope you guys have a fabulous evening. Bye guys.